Meantime, 1.3 million out-of-work Americans hoping to get their benefits reinstated are out of luck. Congress is about to head home for the 4th of July break without extending those benefits. Democrats were unable to break a Republican filibuster. And without the extension, some 150,000 teachers could be out of a job by the start of the school year. Dennis Van Rokel is the president of the National Education Association. That's the nation's largest teachers union. Thanks for joining us, sir. Thank you. It's good to be here. So what do you make of that? I mean, you, ha you have these th this bureaucratic logjam in Washington, and now teachers may be out of a job because of it. Well, the time to act is right now. The House needs to vote on this bill. Without it, as you say, hundreds of thousands of teachers lose their jobs, but worse yet, students lose. Larger class sizes, elimination of summer school, elimination of after-school programs, shorter year. This is not the time to wait. The time to act is right now. And if they don't, what exactly happens? Well, the fiscal year for school districts start today, July 1, and without this bill, they cannot hire these teachers back, and districts are going to experience 50% more increases in class size. They're closing elementary school libraries. They're eliminating PE and music programs. The Congress has to act now and get students with teachers all across this country. So wait, once they're let go, they can't be hired back later? Well, most teachers have a year-long contract. The fiscal year starts July July 1, and most districts will not get additional funds during the year. So it's very important that the timing of this, that it, they do it right now at the beginning of the fiscal year for school districts. Do you think Congress, from everything you're hearing, and I'm sure there's some serious lobby going on by your organization and others, do you think Congress can pull this off? I, Congress can pull it off, and we have had a lot of lobbying at Congress, but not by people like me. We brought in teachers and in professional uh, support employees who, who have been laid off. We brought in a young woman, Gina, who is a mother of two, a single mom. She received a pink slip. They have to look in her eyes and t explain to her how in the world she's supposed to not only put food on the table, but how her students are going to survive with class sizes 50% larger. So, so we're bringing the actual people to members of Congress and say, look, in their faces and tell them you don't have an answer. They yeah, need to act. And to the members of Congress who are watching this interview right now, what do you want to say to them? The time to act is right now. Vote education jobs bill. Get these teachers back in the classroom so students have what they need during this coming year. All right, Dennis Van Rokel, thank you so much and good luck to you, sir. Thank you. That's